So I love Pokemon Go. Um, I think one of the main benefits for me is that it's gotten me out of the house so much more. It's gotten me involved in my local community as well. I've um, I've met so many people through this. Um, and yeah, like my, I think my dogs appreciate it the most because we go to so many parks and go on so many adventures. I've I haven't had a great history in my mental health. Um, I've gone through a lot of stuff with depression and everything. And I mean, I know that like they say exercise is one of the like best things you can do, but with this, it just makes it so much easier. Like I've gotten, I've gone for walks and I've gotten out in nature, stuff that I would never have done otherwise because I would just sat at home play video games. And now I can walk around and play video games. So I think that's one of the best things for me. I've always kind of been a bit of an active person, but I think, um, you know, there's a difference between you know, playing sports and then actually just going for a nice walk with your pets um, and with your friends. And I think the main difference from any other game is that it is so interactive. Like any other game, you can't really... I mean, unless you're playing it online with friends or over the LAN network, you can't, um, like, you can't just walk around and talk to people while you're playing it and just hang out with certain people that you would never have met. Um, and because the difference is, like, because it's in real life, it's not just over some, like, you know, like World of Warcraft, it's not just over some, like, chat box. So I think that is one of the best differences. Um, and the fact that it's Pokemon, which I've been playing since I was, like, five, makes it so much better. So I've kind of, yeah, I have, like, explored my local surroundings a bit more. Like, I've kind of found out, um, like, you know, like, more, like, tracks around my house, more pathways, more, like, places to go and hang out with my dog, um, and just, like, really kind of cool kind of places that you wouldn't really find unless you were, like, walking around um, and, like, seeing kind of cool stuff, like seeing, like, you know, birds and nature and everything. So I think that's also really cool. Um, I think the only negative things is that it's really hard to be a rural player um, because there are not many like pokey stops and not many good Pokemon. But then when you go on day shoes up to Sydney, you just catch so many and it's amazing. So it kind of makes going to Sydney more worth it. I love um, just walking around. I love meeting new people. It just makes me so happy to actually kind of just, I don't know, interact with my surroundings and just... No, it's like it's Pokemon. Like, who doesn't fucking love Pokemon? Pokemon Go has definitely benefited me through a lot of exercise and mental health and even just a distraction from the stresses of life, which has been definitely handy in, in some places. I think it's a good way of getting people out to get active among other people. It eases anxiety, it gives people a common topic to discuss. And I found personally, as someone who suffers from anxiety, it's been quite helpful just to have that little step that allows you to connect with someone else. VR is definitely becoming more and more popular, but augmented reality, just being able to get out of the house while playing this game, definitely different from most games where you'll just be sitting in a chair on a computer. And it's so good because it brings so many different people together. You've got to explore further and further, like moving around, you'll find more Pokemon and you you get that whole nostalgia trip of oh hey I used to catch this Pokemon on the old Game Boy now I get to find this in my local park <laughs> like I know for a few people that I've met it's helped them find a little bit of interest in learning a little bit about their surroundings too I think one of my favourite places to play would have to be the local park in the centre of town, McCaddy Park. You walk through the park as you normally would, but there's an area there that have three of the pokey stops, as they're called, and it basically creates a hub. And sitting there and 
walking over near the fountain and just seeing a whole bunch of people from all ages and um, genders and races and creeds together sitting there talking and laughing and playing this silly little phone game but socializing people just enjoying each other's company meeting new people making new friends and I think that is honestly the moment where it sort of clicked with me of just how much of a positive side that this game can have. 